Hey guys, welcome back. So today is going to be my February favorites. I feel like I always blank when I want to say what favorites it's going to be. Today is March 5th. My birthday was yesterday, so thank you guys so much for all the happy birthday wishes. You make me feel like the most special girl in the world. The most special? The most specialist girl in the world? <laughs> um, and also, two days before my birthday, we hit 2 million subscribers. Like, how crazy is that? 2 million! So, that was the best birthday gift ever. Um, so I just want to say thank you guys so much for that. It's been 4 years? 5 years? 4 or 5 years of rocking on YouTube. So, thank you so much to everyone that's been riding with me from the beginning. And thank you so much to all my new subscribers. I love you guys so much. I think it is so crazy that 2 million people have hit the subscribe button. Like, what? So, I wore this shirt for you guys. Because, you know, like, I'm the burger and you're my fries. Hey! <laughs> so, today's going to be my... February favorites again at G's. Um, I know I haven't uploaded a video in a long time, but it's just because I've been doing so many things around my house because I feel like for the longest time my house didn't look like a home, so I'm just trying to make it more homely and I've been like obsessed with it. So that's where all my time has been. And um, we have Carly and Brett coming to stay with us this weekend, but they're fl they were supposed to come in today, but it's snowing, which this is why I hate snow. So they won't be here till tomorrow. So I'm I'm super sad that they're not going to be here today. But I'm kind of a little excited because then I had this like whole free day to film. So yeah, but fingers crossed that they get here safe and sound tomorrow. So anyways, let's go ahead and jump into the video. I'm gonna start with what do I want to start with. I don't have a ton of favorites, and I feel like I say this every time now, just because I've really just been trying to not go cray with makeup because. It's a lot. The first thing that I want to talk about, I just want to mention him really quickly just in case you haven't seen any of my other videos, but the Air Flash Foundation from Dior. I love this. I'm obsessed with it currently at the moment, so I wanted to mention it, but I did a whole video on it and I mentioned it in a haul video, so I will link the review that I do on this down below, but I have been loving it. I don't wear it every day. Um, I don't have it on my skin today. Today I have on Makeup Forever HD Foundation, um, just because I feel like... I use a lot more than is necessary if that makes sense because it is like an aerosol can so you spray it on I spray it on the back of my hand pick it up with a brush and then apply it to my face um, but I feel like I waste a lot of product so I just want to mainly use this guy for special occasions but I have been loving him and I just wanted to mention him because he was a favorite this month on to my next one this is the from Guerlain Guerlain? Guerlain? This is the terracotta spray and it's a bronzing powder mist with sunscreen. It has an SPF of 10 in it. And the color that I have is in number 2. And it's an aerosol and it just sprays out. I'm not going to spray it because I have a white shirt on and I'm not trying to get all bronzy. Um, but it is a bronzing spray. So I like to use this for like my neck and like my shoulders and stuff like that when like I don't, like I'm not all matchy matchy which is most of the time. Um, I like to use this just to kind of mist over myself because then it just kind of bronzes me up super easy and I don't have to like bronze my entire neck. So I've been really liking this guy. I've had him for uh, quite a while and I don't think I've ever mentioned him um, and I do use him pretty regularly. So I wanted to give this guy a little shout out today and he kind of went hand in hand with like the air flash foundation. Next I want to talk about this Burt's Bees baby bee dusting powder which is it's basically like baby baby powder if that makes sense. Um, I talked about baby powder in my last video how I can sprinkle it into my hair to absorb any excess oils and for me baby powder just works a lot better than like a dry shampoo. Personally I feel like if I use a dry shampoo it makes my hair feel more dirty like it doesn't absorb oil it just kind of makes my hair like grungy and like gross feeling so I personally enjoy using baby powder for extra volume and to absorb any oil excess oil in my hair but somebody told me a while ago that I should try cornstarch for it because cornstarch is a lot more absorbent and it will give you more volume in your hair so I picked this one up from Burt's Bees and this one is Talic I think that's how you say it and this one is made with cornstarch in it so um, I have been liking this one a lot more than actual baby powder I just do feel like it does give me more volume and it is a lot more absorbent than the regular baby powder so um, I just wanted to mention this to you guys I got this one from Amazon <clears throat> because I buy everything off Amazon so I'm not sure if it is in the store, like I haven't personally looked for it, but 
It is on Amazon if you guys are interested. The next is this lift concealer from Makeup Forever, and I got this one in at number three. I purchased this from Sephora online. Um, I really like this concealer because of the color. Like, I'm so weird about colors, and I like ones that have like a little bit of a peachy undertone to them because it really helps combat the darkish blue circles underneath my eyes. So that's why I've been into this guy lately. I haven't noticed any... I know it's called a lift concealer and some people say that you can notice a little bit of lift in the under eye area and I don't I don't really notice any lift in the under eye area but I do really like the consistency of it and it blends out beautifully and like sits underneath my eyes beautifully so it is what I have on underneath there today but you can't really see it because there's a bunch of powder set on top of it but I have been loving this guy so I just wanted to give him a little mention and again I got him from Sephora online um, just because I'm like an online shopper and I just, you know, I just don't like to go out into the world. <laughs> Next, I want to talk about the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I've been loving this guy. This is what I contour and highlight with on the daily. I am more personally obsessed with the highlighting powder shades as opposed to the contouring shades. I do like the contouring shades. This is mainly the, this is the main color that I use, which is Shadowland. Um, but... I find that sometimes, I don't know if it's me or the brush or I'm not like blending enough, but I find that sometimes when I use just this bronzing powder that sometimes I have like... <coughs> Yay! I find that sometimes I have like a little bit of a harsh line, so I'm still working with the contour colors, but the highlighting shades are like my absolute favorite thing of life. I use mainly these two all the time, which is Lucid and this one is Lyric. I just think that they sit so beautifully underneath your eyes and they make such a difference. I'll just take a little bit of Lyric and then I'm going to put this right under here. It like brightens you up so much more than like any kind of brightening powder like I've ever used. So I'm obsessed with the highlighting powders in the kit. Hold on, let me, let's, let's, let's blend this down so I don't look cry. I'm just obsessed with the highlighting powders. I just think they're the most beautiful things of life. They really make a difference when you set them. So I do set with my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. And then after I'm done with everything, I'll go in and brighten up this under eye area. Just because I feel like... Um, it is a little powdery and a little, it's a little tiny bit chalky to me, so I don't like to set immediately because I feel like it just get, gets like in the fine line. So I do like to use the Secret Brightening Powder to set, and then I like to use these highlighting powders to just really brighten up that under eye area. So, obsessed with this, have been loving them, and I also love the brush that it came with. I just think it's so soft and it fits like so perfectly underneath this eye area. And I also use the highlighting powder right underneath my contour just to really make that contour pop. So have been obsessed, still working on the contour colors, but love, love, loving the highlighting powders in here. And the brush. Don't forget the brush. So since we're just talking about highlighting powders, let's talk about a for real highlighting powder for like highlighting your cheeks and stuff. This is the Makeup Forever Shine Compact, Compact Shine On, and it is a highlighting powder. It is what I have on as my highlight today, and I've been using this non-stop. I think it's the most gorgeous highlight. Um, this is in the color number three. I do think it comes in three shades, and as you can see, it kind of just looks like a white powder, so you have to be super careful with this. You don't want to use a lot because it will come off kind of white on your face. I apply all my highlighting powders with the Sigma Tapered Highlighter, go figure. And let me just set this mirror up so I can show you. All you do is just push a little bit on and it makes, it's like so gorgeous, like so gorgeous. And like I said, a little bit goes such a long way with this, so I feel like this will last you forever and ever and ever and ever. I do want to get all the rest of the shades just because I've been so obsessed with this one. I'm not sure what the other shades are, but I know I want them because this one is so damn good. This is my favorite highlighter that I've ever, ever, ever used because it kind of gives you like that wet highlight look. Um, some highlighting powders that I use, I, I don't like them. I think they're like too glittery and sparkly, and this one is just like perfect highlight, shine, wet in your face, yes. So again, it is number three and it is called the Compact Shine On, which is weird, right? Okay, whatever. I didn't have to snow in Jersey. Okay, I'm not gonna get mad, I'm not gonna get mad. Next, this is a MAC blush and I think this was limited edition. I've had these 
for a minute and I just busted them out because we'll talk about that new favorite in a minute but this is from the Proenza collection and this blush is called Ocean City and it's an ombre blush and I've been using it every single day I do have the pink one as well this is the more orangey toned one so as you can see it like fades from like a light to dark and I just kind of swirl my brush in between um, most of the time sometimes I'll pick a little more up from the top because I want it a little lighter or a little more from the bottom because I want it more intense um, it is the blush that I have on today and I've been using it like I said every single day and I just think it's beautiful I'm really into this like ombre blush I think they have a collection out now when it's like it's like super similar super similar Similar, <gasps> super similar packaging and um, it's an ombre blush like this as well so wanted to give this guy a little shout out I know that he used limited edition and usually I don't like to mention things that are limited edition because when you see something you want it and that's how I am but I've just been using it it's like the only blush that I've been using so I wanted to mention it because it's so it's so beautiful it's so beautiful Next, I've been using the Benefit Hoola Bronzer like crazy lately. Like, I used to use this all the time when I first started on YouTube, and I was like getting like all into the good stuff. Um, and I've found my way back to him. I just think it's like the best bronzer. I feel like it complements like every skin tone. There's no oranginess to it. It's super matte. There's no glitter in it. It's like perfect for contouring your cheeks and your forehead and your chin and your nose and whatever else you want to contour. Girls get crazy and contour their collarbones. I'm like, oh. Ain't nobody got time for that, um, but do what you do, girl. I've been loving it. I think the packaging is always super cute on all Benefit things. Like, Benefit might have the cutest packaging in the world. Well, yeah, I'm going to go with Benefit. I'm going to go with Benefit. So back to contouring with Hula Bronzer. Absolutely loving it, so I just wanted to give him a little shout-out as well. So next is a brush from NARS. I know it's the Kabuki brush, and it has some, like, some Y name, but I don't want to, like, butcher the name or anything. So here's the name of the brush right here for you to read and butcher yourself. Or if you know how to read it, then internet high five. I've, I've been so into this little guy for contouring my cheeks. He just makes it, like, so 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 easy to me it like blends out beautifully like so airbrushed and like to perfection and it's so lightweight I've been eyeballing this little guy forever now so I just bit the bullet a couple weeks ago and purchased him and it's like one of the best brushes ever this one it might be like my favorite brush out of all my brushes that's saying a lot so have been loving this guy I need to learn how to say you because you deserve for me to know how to say your name that's how good you are then just a few lipsticks that I've been wearing nonstop. This is Please Me from MAC. I do have this on, but I have it mixed with another color. Um, it's just like a great everyday color for me. It is a little pinky, but um, it doesn't come off like super pink on my lips. It just kind of looks like natural on my lips, which I like when I don't really feel like wearing a lip color, which has been lately. I just, I'm like, I, I'm just not into it lately. And I think that one of my sweet little subbies got me, please me. So shout out to that little baby cakes. She gave it to me at IMAX. I'm pretty sure. So thanks, boo. And then the one that I have um, mixed with it is from Milani. And these are their new matte lipsticks, which are amazing because they are, it's a matte lipstick, but you don't have the matte feeling. So it's non-drying on your lips. It goes on super smooth and super creamy, but it's matte, so it's great. These are the two colors that I have mixed on my lips right now. I think they go great together because this kind of mutes out the pink, so it's not like so pinky on my lips. To finish off the lip combo, I have on the Buxom Gloss in Mudslide. Now, I have a love-hate relationship with these Buxom Glosses. Um, I have it on my lips today because I really like the color. I think it goes great with that lip combo like you can wear this with either one of those lips combined or separately um, but I hate that they have like a minty-esque feel to them I'm not even joking when I wear these I get like cold I'm like oh, why is it so cold I'm like oh, damn that lip gloss because it has like a minty-esque feel which when you put it on at first you're like oh this is so nice it's like minty and refreshing and then like 20 minutes later you're like why is it so cold in here? And it's like the lip gloss, it like makes you cold. I don't even know how to explain it, but it makes my lips feel like, like I have ice cubes on them right now. But I love the color, it's non-sticky, it smells good, and I love the color payoff of it. The only thing is, is the mintiness and the coldness. I ain't down with that, but I like the gloss. <laughs> My last favorite, I can't pick it up to show you because it's sitting over there, but that's my new acrylic drawer set back there, and I actually found it at Home Goods like 
two weeks ago or so and I love it. I wish that I would have bought because I only had two left and I should have bought the other one so it could have been on this side because I just love it. It's like huge and as you can see it fits all my brushes on top and it just takes a lot of clutter off the actual vanity itself which I love because I had so many brushes just sitting on my vanity which I hated because I couldn't like hide them enough so I love it because I can fit everything right on top and the drawers are so big and deep and I just I love it so I wish I would have got a another the other one but if you're familiar with home goods if you don't buy it then then when you go back it's not gonna be there so I guess I'm out of luck I love it and I wish I bought the other one I love when I say I don't have a lot of products and then I look down at the timer and it says we've been talking for like 20 minutes and I'm like what so that was it for my February favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you found some things that you want to try out. Leave me your favorites below, what you guys were loving for the month, so I can see what's happening and maybe I can check those out. <laughs> um, and again, thank you guys again. And again, thank you so much for all the birthday love. You guys made me feel so special and I love you guys so much for it. And again, internet high five for us getting a two million. Yes, us, because it's me and you. Uh, so that is it. I don't think I have anything else to say except I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye. I want to talk about, oh, 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 oh. Baby baby powder, baby bee. <laughs> Not about that dry shampoo life. I ah! No, where's that emoji at? This is my favorite emoji, the one that's like, ah! I'm like yes. Is a what the Frankie f lifting? What am I trying to say? Like oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> Two. Oh, my fingerprints are all over it. Bronzer from Hula. I've been using Hula non a bronzer from Hula. So I just bit. So I just bought the. Sit up straight. Put your boobs out. Um.